What is a periodontist? Periodontics is one of the recognized specialties by the American Dental Association. And to be a periodontist, it involves three extra years of postgraduate training after the four years of dental school. Uh, during those three years of training to be a periodontist, uh, there's both non-surgical and surgical periodontics, which is taught. Uh, there's a lot involved in my specialty. Our specialty basically is the treatment of gums, uh, bone, health of those structures, and one of the specialties that's involved in placing dental implants uh, into the jaw. Uh, during those three years of training, uh, those that are going into periodontics learn not only the non-surgical and surgical periodontics, but are very much involved in reading the literature, why we do what we do, uh, which is extremely important. And also many students are involved at the same time they do their residency, they're involved in active research relative to the project. Uh, so often in the training, uh, as was the result with me, uh, almost nine months to a year of off-service rotations are done. Uh, I spend time uh, in the emergency room, physical medicine, internal medicine, uh, spent six months doing general anesthesia to learn drug management, uh, how to start an IV, uh, how to do safe sedation. So not only uh, is the specialty of periodontics there, but all these specialties of medicine are brought in uh, to uh, amalgamate uh, everything uh, so you're an extremely well-trained uh, specialist. Uh, at the end of the training, uh, there's board certification, uh, which is done. The various states have different licenses and through the American Academy of Periodontology, uh, one can become a diplomat uh, of that board. As I mentioned, part of that training is both non-surgical and surgical periodontics, and there are things we do today from the training that are just world-class, things that personally I never thought that I would be able to do when I did train. We're able to take somebody today from the procedures that we have, someone that's long in the tooth where there's an exposed root, and if the indicators are there very minimally invasively, we can graft tissue and cover that root, get the gum back, get the bone back, make it appear as if we've never even done surgery. Uh, in certain instances, we're able to grow bone back where there's been bone loss. We're able to put implants in wonderfully today with an extremely high success rate of 98% or better and replace teeth without having to grind teeth down next door where there then can be chances for recurrent cavities, root canals, fractures. Uh, we do things today that are just world class from our training.